some darts onto the piece, kind of just creating more layer, more texture. And whatever strokes work for you is fine. So all kinds of tools you can use to work with your surface texture and we can get into that in our advanced course. Wire brushes, scraper tools, you name it. It's really fun. You can use some shellac on the surface, which I do often. I'm going to show you today how to smear a little bit of oil paint onto the surface before you fuse it, and that's a great thing to do. Okay, while we're here, I'll just go ahead and show you this quick trick. So this is just your basic oil paints. Again, we don't use acrylics, but I'm just going to very lightly go with this pretty blue, and I'll probably rag a lot of it away so you'll barely even know that I did this, but it just starts to create a, an effect. So I'm kind of going over the turquoise, and giving it more of this kind of Easter egg, a little bit more rich, saturated blue. And I like to just rub it with my gloves. The surface is warm. It's really a neat feeling. It's something I've just gotten used to over time. I tend to like the more organic look on the surface. And then I'll show you how we rag this off, which is a good technique for you in your own studio. Again, just be working in an area that's pretty well ventilated, even though these products are natural and pretty inert. It's always good since you're working with torches and things. And I go ahead and rub it right into where you see the brown line. Maybe even a little bit in the sky for a reverb. Okay, cap back on the oil. You just want to take your basic relatively clean rag. This is a flower sack dish towel that's been used and donated to the studio by us here. And I'm just kind of going vertically and ragging it off so you get that subtle color. And then of course we'll go back and fuse it. So same thing here. I'm just gently ragging some of the color off so we don't have these intense saturation points. And then I'm actually dragging it up into there. And then I'm going to take our white and go into the sky just a little bit more, and then we'll heat it all with wax. So I'm starting to go over some areas that have cooled and set up, and I'm not necessarily doing it in one specific way. Just starting to try to create an effect in the sky and some layering maybe some low fog into these little bits of land. And go ahead and go thicker in some areas. That's what's interesting, I think. I'm trying to keep my drips off the painting. You guys could probably be more careful than I have been. <laughs> you don't want it to drip into the medium either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> saving that. So I got one little spot where it dripped up in the corner and we'll just take this pottery scraper and just lightly I'll pull it out. There we go. And maybe it's a little thick with the white there so I'm just going to lighten it up with the scraper tool. Just starting to create a vibe. There we go. And then same thing down here, just gonna lighten up some of these areas in unpredictable ways, which creates visual interest. There we go, and now we're gonna fuse it with some heat. And that'll reveal some of the layers below and move things around. Okay, we're just gonna fuse this layer 
And this is what encaustic painting, certainly at the beginner level is what I did all the time and I still do it all the time. And now we're hitting that oil that we rubbed in and ragged off. So everything's coming together just like a soup over time. It's really fun. And if you get bits of your brush in there, you can pull it out with pottery tools or leave it, paint over it, dig it out with a nail.